This is a Stipple Wild video, so if you don't have Stipple Wild, you won't be able to do this. Alright, in this video I'm going to go over this trick right here, uh, known as scintillating grid trick or something, scintillating grid illusion. Uh, I don't know if it's happening for you, but when I look at this, all these white dots as my eye scans this flash, flat, flash back and forth between white and black. Um, so with stipple, we can apply this to an image like I have here with this, uh, skull or this one with the inverted skull. So let's get into this. I'm going to launch stipple wild. Uh, just to go over the basics, let's leave the skull out of it at first. Um, we're going to go to a... Uh, white dots, black background, uh, actually, uh, black background, we're going to go with uh, gray dots, actually. Alright, so, first off, let's uh, turn off the draw image, and we're just going to pull our, uh, our dots so they're right next to each other, our min and max dots, so they're right next to each other. Um, now we're going to go into, we're going to switch to Pix Gap for both of these. And for one of them, we're going to do 25. For the other, we're going to do one. And then uh, we're going to hit fill. And then we're going to do 25. We're going to just uh, switch around those two settings and hit fill again. And now we have a grid. And now if we go 25 for both uh, column and row distribution, go with a white dot, and let's make the dot just a little bit bigger. Um, and then hit fill. All right, so there we go. Now we have, that, we have this effect. Uh, it was not difficult to create. But we can make this more interesting if we put a skull in it i think we all agree on that um so let's see all right so i'm drawing the white right now my uh my levels have white on the right um we're gonna go back to that gray color uh our dots we're gonna put a little bit more definition in the dots than we have last time so something like that, and we'll go to 1 and 25, how did it come out, alright, pretty good, 25 and 1, alright, now let's make our dots just a little bit bigger, go to white, 25 for both, hit fill, and hide the image, uh, there we go. We got it. So let's see. You can make the uh, you can make the skull a little bit more pronounced if you uh, pull if you pull your uh, dot slider away from the black end because then it'll just cut off the black. Let's try this again. All right. Yeah. Now you can see that in the Sections outside of the skull, we don't have the white dot. So now it's only fl it's only doing the flashing trick on the skull itself. Uh, all right, now we're going to go back to 1 and 25. I'm going to delete this. Uh, so column distribution, pix gap 1, and row distribution, pix gap 25. Um, and now let's put some waves in it. So let's go to number of, and let's pick... Uh, a low amount for the waves will do uh, let's do like six and three uh, always with the three doing that to me um, and we'll do 30 now this uh, amplitude is gonna be is probably gonna be different on yours and I probably should have started by saying this that your uh, row and column distribution you might want it to make it wider than 25 but on this device uh it works good uh all right so let's hit fill see what we got uh all right we're gonna pull this slider out 
because we want to do um, and we want to pick gray because we want to we want to have a full grid we want, we don't want to we don't want the grid to just isolate the skull but the dots will isolate isolate the skull all right so let's give this another shot uh, let's turn that amplitude back down to 20 try it again and then switch this to 25 and we'll actually you know what before we go any further I'm gonna turn this down a little bit okay we'll do 125 we're gonna do it again and now pull this slider out pick white pick 25 25 uh, let's try it again, make the dots just a little bit bigger. And there we go. We've applied it to a wavy line. Uh, and if you look up the Wikipedia page, it's uh, this is called like grid illusion or scintillating dot grid something something. <clears throat> um, it actually says that this trick doesn't work on wavy lines, but as you can see, it does work on wavy lines. Uh, I think they just weren't trying hard enough. Um, all right. Well, I think that covers it. Uh, if you make something cool, let me know. Thanks for watching.